What's up guys, today I'm going to be looking at the Forest Master FM6DD mulch. Now, this is a wood chipper, a mulch shot and a shredder. So, uh, most of these machines that are petrol driven are really uh, wood chippers. And I've been looking for a wood chipper for a while. But if you're looking for something that can also mulch your green waste or you can put cardboard through, as well as uh, plant material, if you've got quite a large garden, then this is the machine that uh, I would probably recommend. Now, they do another version of this, which is just a wood chipper, but like I said. If you want the one that will shred cardboard, they'll do kitchen waste, they'll do uh, plant material, uh, then uh, it's the mulching version you want as well. Now, th this is a fairly new model, so uh, what I'm going to do, anyway, uh, I've been using it at the top of the nursery. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. It's been shredding uh, plant material, uh, quite thick branches, and it's done really well. I've also put quite a bit of cardboard through it, so what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd bring it down here, where I can set the camera up properly and I'll show you how it uh, works. I'll, I'll put some fairly thick material through, I'll put some cardboard through, I've got some plant waste through, so I'll just show you how good the machine is. Before I do, I'll just talk about a little bit uh, about the machine, because obviously I'm not going to be able to talk while the machine's being used. So I'll turn it around so you can see. I'll just grab a spanner. So basically, if you're outside of the UK, you don't go by the C rules, then you can, you are allowed to move this off on, it's very easy. And both in the UK, you're not supposed to do this, but for the people who are in the USA, who uh, watch my channel and uh, read my blog, etc., I'll quickly show you uh, how it works. The first thing we need to do is to loosen these. And as you can see, you can move it, so you're supposed to have it set to around there, uh, for uh, three centimetres from the ground, like I said. If you are, in the US or you're in a country that uh, doesn't use the CE regulations then you can actually have it as high as that. To be honest that's obviously a better, better working height but there's obviously safety reasons for that so I'll just put it back down there and I'll tighten that for this. So I've set that, like I said you can move the hopper so that's how you do it if you wanted to do it. In terms of maintenance, if you undo these screws, you can take the hopper off to uh, maintain it. The blades are actually uh, reversible in this model, so if the blades are getting blunt, you can turn the blades around and you can use the blades again, so they are uh, reversible. If you, you just undo this cap, there's a bolt in the centre, you can turn that and then uh, you can check that it's free of any uh, blockages. So, in terms of the engine, it's reliable, it's a fairly powerful engine. It's a six and a half horsepower. It's a four-stroke engine. It starts fairly quick. It starts within one or two pulls and it starts up. I'll demonstrate that that in a minute. But yeah, up to now, I've been really impressed with this uh, model. Like I said, I've been using it at the top. I've done a lot of shredding, but I just thought I'd bring a little bit down here so I could do a bit of a demonstration on video on uh, how it works. So I'll get it in position. I'll get it started. So I've had it running, so I don't need to have the choke on, but if I did, I'll put the choke on. Uh, that's That'll probably be fine. Put the, the switch to on, and then I'm going to pull the card, and it should start after one or two pulls.
I'll just, just give a demonstration of chipping cardboard, I put carrots through it, I put weeds through it, I put uh, branches through it off hedges, put some conifer hedging through it, and you can see it's actually chipped it down really well. Now you could put this onto your compost heap. If you're just doing uh, hedge trimmings or wood, hardwood sort of stuff, then you could perhaps put that uh, underneath your hedges as a mulch. Like I said, you can put it in your, put it in your cardboard. As you can see, it shredded it really well. So if this was just a chip pot and you wanted to shred things like plant growth, it wouldn't do it. It would just get caught up in the uh, turbine uh, shredder sort of system. Uh, but with this new model, they've actually uh, re redesigned it so that it is a shredder and a mulcher as well. I've been really impressed with the machine. It's not clogged up. Uh, something I did find is I tried putting strips of card in. It does, it does shred them, but just make sure that they're narrow enough to get through the chamber at the end. I was putting some through and it wouldn't go through. The reason being, the cardboard strips, I thought they were thin enough, but they weren't, they were too wide. So they weren't actually reaching blades. Uh, but I put some branches in there and, and it pushed it through. So it did, it, did, it did shred the cardboard, no problem, even the wider pieces. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell to get notified when we release a new video. Don't forget to smash that like button before you go. I'll give you a second. You done yet? Smash the like button and then that really does help me out and it's much appreciated. Thanks for watching.